Robbie, a disappointing day at the office. It's a bad, bad end to a bad week, really, isn't it? Yeah. Um, to be honest, I don't know where to start, Pete, really. I just think, you know, we got outfought, outbattled. You know, just, yeah, it just looked like we were on our holidays and we're safe and we're not. And I've told the players that we can't have it because we need more, more from the players. And today, I just thought Monday was a one-off and I thought actually going up to last week or two weeks ago, I thought we'd turn a corner, Pete. But actually the last two performances were worse than the games when we were on that bad run. Mm. There's worse performances, mate. And, you know, it's just, yeah, it's a really bad day at the office. And like I said, I felt sorry for Lloyd because while well, I thought he'd done okay in the game, made a couple of decent saves, a couple of kicks here, where and where, but, you know, we just, you know, we just we just can't give the goal. But like I said, what I don't, I don't think you can have is lack of effort. And it looked like out there we had lack of effort today. Yeah, well, I must say, from from the stands all around us, it was it was a very frustrating day, yeah. and it, it was well, it started from the first goal, really sloppy goals to give away, aren't they, Robbie? They're just yeah, but too it's, easy, isn't it? It's, it's far too easy. And to be fair to the lad, he scores a good goal the first one. Yeah. But I said to Joe, you've got to identify Joe who you're playing against. He's all left footed. Don't let him come in on his left when he can shoot straight at the goal. I said they're just learning curves for Joe, knowing going forward to try and get it on his right hand side because then there's not a lot more danger and then the second goal the lad does Calvin on the halfway line and the lad runs the full length of that pitch of the full length of our half and he's squaring the ball three yards out and no one's come across and no one's come to help out I I, it, it baffles me yeah it's one of them ones Robbie at 2-1 we did have a chance Dan Gifford it fell to him at a yeah, but it, yeah, even yeah, Nathan's is a penalty. Yeah. But I've said to Nathan, you're too, it's, he's too soft. He's too easy. He's got to know where the, sense, the defender is. And even if he takes a hit, he's still set to put it in the back of the net. That's what I'm saying to Nathan. And I, he, he, you know, he, he's, he's, he's not ready and not prepared. He, he, you can see it. And he's too easy to get off the ball. It's too easy. And, and then, you know, Giffs has had one right, you know, two or three yards out. But I said to the players after the game, when you look at it, we didn't deserve it. We didn't deserve anything from the game, Pete. And don't want to go out about referees and all that. You know, I can't believe he's given him a penalty when he's actually went round and took, he's hit it. You know, mm. he hasn't dived, he hasn't gone down. So that's, yeah. you, you can't give a penalty for that. Yeah, well, it's one of them ones where I think there was contact from Lloyd, but... Yeah, but he, st yeah, he stayed yeah, up. He, he stood up, but I think... But give it straight yeah, away then. Yeah, give it straight yeah, away. Yeah. Don't let him yeah, have, yeah. Yeah. to have a shot. Because yeah. then it just looks like he's missed a shot. And he wasn't off balance when he shot. No, no, no. If he was off balance and falling over, you yeah. could see possibly why. But going away from the penalty, uh, Lloyd Thomas, it's really news on Killian because uh, we turned up today and we, yeah, no, we it, didn't know it, that Killian had found, an injury. Yeah. yeah, we got found out we had a groin strain, which wasn't great, wasn't ideal. Left us no time to really prepare for another one. So. We'll have to see. We'll have to assess that with with Brighton and see where we go from there. So, is it looking like he's going to be a couple of weeks? Do you think? We don't know. Groin strains could be ten days, could be a week, could be you know. I don't know. So we'll have, just have to see. But it's just really disappointing performance, and yeah, just just nowhere near good enough. Nowhere near good enough. But we have to bounce back somehow, don't we, against Hornchurch, where we? Yeah, we've got to bounce back because they're a really good team, strong, aggressive, and if we turn up like we did today, you know, God knows what the score will be. Yeah, but, well, yeah. you know, just disappointing because, like I say, from my point of view, I thought we turned a corner and you know, that, was, for me, wasn't acceptable. And I could give or take, if they were better than us on the day, which they were, but if, if we're showing it belief, you know, to get on the ball and, and we got out-battled and out-ran, and that's two games we've been out-battled and out-ran again. Yeah, we saw a change in the, in the line-up today. We saw Harvey going back into the midfield yeah. to give McCormack a go. Yeah. And... Do you think maybe you should, could have kept Harvey right back? Possibly, but you know when we've played a lot of games, you yeah, try and mix it up a little bit. And you know Walt had played a lot of games, hadn't played since December, and then to play that certain amount of games. But you know we we were feeling that we had a strong enough bench, and you know I thought we did. But it's um, listen, that hasn't worked. I no problem with that. But you know you don't know that before the game, dear. And um, but we'll have to dust ourselves down, and then we go again Tuesday. We've got a lot of games coming up. Um, but like I say, it was no good for me. That it was, it was so poor. Are there any other niggles, or is uh, if it's what happened in that? Yeah, no, everyone, everyone's okay now. So 
um, you know, just all about getting some rest in and then going again. Cheers, Robbie.